60 Days of Code, Make Coding a Daily Habit. We all have 24 hours within our days, but we use them differently. How many hours are in seven days? 168. How many hours are in 30 days? 720. What about 60 days? There's 1,440 hours in two months. The challenge is try to find three hours every single day to focus on learning how to code. If you do this, you will have invested 21 hours a week, 80 to 90 hours a month, 160 to 180 hours in two months learning how to code. Now that's a smart investment of your time. They say it takes about 30 days to form a new habit or to break a bad habit. And most likely we've already developed a lot of bad habits over time, like spending too much time on non-productive activities. So I want you to spend the next 60 days learning how to code, making it a priority and making it your newest habit. One thing I always hear is that life is a marathon. It's not a sprint, but I disagree with that. I believe that life is a marathon and a sprint. You have to be able to take massive actions when needed, but then be able to slow it down every now and then. Every year I do this. I spend the last couple of months sprinting to the end of the year. I set some goals and I go all in. I treat it like an end of the year boot camp, and it works. For me, I'm gonna spend the next 60 days fine tuning my coding skills. But I'm also gonna start releasing my full stack development series that's gonna focus on everything from front end development, back end development, server administration, Linux, and pretty much everything you need to focus on to become a full stack developer. This is an ambitious project. It's gonna be 30 plus hours spread over 12 to 15 videos that will all be timestamped to make it easy for you to pick up where you left off. And I'm also creating the code snippets that you'll be able to find on my website that'll go along with the videos. So it's a massive project. I'm also gonna continue releasing videos on how to freelance as a developer. Some tips and tricks I think you need to know. And also some industry news you should stay on top of. These will all be centered around things developers should be focusing on. So if you're new here, then definitely subscribe to this channel and hit the notification icon so you won't miss out. But don't wait for my series to come out to get started. There's a bunch of great websites you can check out that'll help you in terms of learning to code. And here on YouTube, there's a lot of great channels as well. The best part, they're all free. Here are five websites to check out. For the front end, check out the Mozilla Developer Network. It's a great resource for learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You could also check out Free Code Camp, which gives you a lot of tutorials on how to learn front end development as well. Now for the back end, you can check out the documentation pages of Node.js, Python, and PHP. Now when it comes to YouTube channels, besides this channel, there's a bunch of other channels you should check out as well. And these are the five that I recommend. For code tutorials, you should check out MM Toots. He has a lot of great videos and you definitely find them very useful. Another channel that I like a lot is Traversy Media. He has a lot of good videos that are longer in nature but are very thorough and complete when it comes to learning how to code. And Free Code Camp also has a great channel here. They have very long videos, but very in depth in terms of the information they provide. And they cover a lot of different topics on the channel. Now, besides learning how to code, you also have to learn about how to be a developer. And there's a lot that goes into that, especially if you're gonna freelance, and especially if you wanna be a self-taught coder. There's gonna be a lot of advice that you're gonna need, and it's good to learn from other people who have been there before you. And there are two channels that really stick out when it comes to this type of format. Chris Hawks has a great channel where he talks about different aspects of developing, of coding, of what's taking place in the development community, and things that developers should be focusing on. And Stefan Mischuk also has a great channel where he talks about developer-centric topics. So definitely check them out. Now that list of five websites and five YouTube channels are some of the best ones to get started with. And like I mentioned before, they're free. While there's a lot of paid options online, you might as well start off with the free ones first. They'll get you started and give you probably about 90 to 99% of everything you need in order to become a developer. And again, this channel and my website is also a resource for you. So if you're new to my channel, then check out some of the other videos in the upper right hand corner and take a look at the library of videos I have here on YouTube. If you like what you see, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And as always, 
Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding.